back in the cocaine days. I might days go right into the heroin this, days. Because you mentioned the cartel. Oh, okay. That's a good segue into okay. the um the cartel. Into the cartel. Mm-hmm. That it, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gentleman on the left. Now I'm probably screwing this man's name up. Peso? Is that his name? I think Peso Pluma. Peso Pluma? I think Cancels so. several concerts amid threat from the Mexican cartel. Well, you know who's on the right. Is that Chapa? Yeah, that's uh, that's him. And his lyrics. The gu- musician and singer Peso Pluma has canceled and postponed several of his scheduled concerts amid a recent threat made against his safety by the Mexican cartel. Now, you said he had a concert here in Chicago. They had to cancel. A giant stadium. They threatened him. They Go said on that stage, that'd be the last concert. On <laughs> Tuesday, September 12th, before Pluma, real name Hassan Emilio Cabanda Laja, whatever. Oh, okay. He's Plum, he's Plum, uh, Peso. Okay. <laughs> Made his MTV VMAs debut. Mm-hmm. I remember him with that jacket on. I remember seeing him. So that was him. Yes. Oh, yes. I told you it was like a Latino. And I think they were probably doing that also because this is the month of Hispanic and Latino, Latino heritage. Month. Yeah. Yes. That's why. A menacing banner was hung from a bridge in the border town of Tijuana, Mexico. The translation of the banner signed by Jalisco New Generation Cartel read, this goes to Peso Pluma. <laughs> Refrain from presenting yourself on October 14th because it will be your last show due to your disrespect and loose tongue. You show up and we are going to break you. And when the cartel says break, they literally mean into 20. <laughs> they literally mean break your ears off, your eyes, your nose, they your lips. They canceled that concert so quick. The same day, fans who were planning to see the Mexican artist mm-hmm. in concert mm-hmm. at the Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, had been notified by the venue that due to unforeseen circumstances, the show had been postponed. Now, is this the one you're talking about or you said it was one in Chicago? I think it was this one. Okay, you yeah, I knew it was nearby. All right, all right. everybody said, relax and well, calm down. Said, well, Milwaukee's near Chicago, so that's but what I But I'm putting out there was a Chicago oh, I'm so sorry. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the October one, though. Is no, that, no, you're right. Additional that, dates include Friday, September 15th, Saturday, September 16th, and Rosemont. Yeah, Rosemont. Right. So yes. you were right. You were right. All right. I know they said Chicago. I just wasn't sure of the dates. And Indianapolis has been canceled. That that cartel has scared this group. I agree. I would be scared, too. But what? here's the thing, too. Who told him? I don't know his music. Well, I'm going to tell you why they threaten him. Why would you put that in your lyrics? The rising star is best known for singing traditional Mexican ballads. However, Pluma also um, specialties in a subgenre of contemporary takes on the ballad, known as Narco Ridios. Y'all, Latino people, y'all probably killing me. According to Pitchfork, whose lyrics recount the explo- exploits of drug traffickers. Mm-hmm. He has two songs are believed to be dedications to the Jalisco cartel's main rival, the Sinola cartel. While Pluma has not confirmed these assumptions, he has previously explained that some cartel leaders pay musicians to write in their favor. They, 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 they pay and you to write in your favor, you're going to get killed. The Jalisco cartel is considered to be the second most powerful drug cartel in Mexico after the Sonali, no, cartel. I'm starting to it. In February, Mexican band um, Grupa something from whatever had also faced threats from that other cartel. So cartels are threatening these groups that are coming from these particular areas. It's like gang banging, in my it opinion. Sure is. If you come from an area with the Crips, mm-hmm. and then you go in concert, and mm-hmm. you and you doing the Crip dance like Snoop Dogg, yeah, or a lot of bloods against the uh, opposing. A lot gang. of bloods might be like, "You're not coming here. We're blood ran. We're not Crip ran." Do you here. think a lot of that had to do with Tupac's death and Biggie Smalls' no. death? No, it wasn't gang related. 
Nah. You sure? They wasn't in gang. Well, we're rivals then. What was going on? It was the rival in hip hop. Remember they were saying East Coast versus West Coast. Oh, so not so much. It was more rival and rap. Oh, okay. So this is the whole thing with him, man. El Charpo, he's an El Charpo dude, according to this other um, cartel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we don't want any El Charpo dudes on, on any stage around us. So the cartel, does that just mean like the mafia? Where it's a general name and there's oh, yes, different like sex different families, different, different families, families. Okay, yeah, okay. different families. Okay, yeah, I don't mess with the cartel because you, I used to think cartel was just it. That was the group, and that was it. Yeah, but it sounds like even these rivalries within the cartels are problems. They do remind me of old school um, um, mafia. They're a little different than gangs, but they do have. There's gangs that fall underneath the cartel. Mm-hmm. There's certain they gangs. Do their work, work there are certain Latin gangs that are attached to certain cartels. Exactly. The cartel guys don't do the gang activity, right? But they have gangs within the family that does. They the need gang people activity. to do their leg work. To, yeah, uh, you they do. have drugs and all that other yeah. stuff. They got. They need people to move and move around and move it. And a lot of times they're the higher ups that supply. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we don't play around. We live in an area. It's too many Latino Well, they got people. this boy canceling shows then. We live, where we live, it's Mexico. Mm-hmm. So you might as well say we it's live like in Mexico. It's like maybe 75. No, it's more than that. 80% is Latino. More than that. Yeah. It's 90%. Latino. And I'm here. You're talking about the ones that's registered. Well, I'm here and I know we have a it's lot of more than it's like ninety because we're a sanctuary 90. city too. Yeah. But um I'm he- I told my sister, I said, are we politi- politically correct when they cause this is Heritage Month and they, they're gonna be celebrating in Chicago. Oh my god, the cops are ready because we had a lot of issues last year. Mm-hmm. But um they're calling it um Hispanic and Latino heritage. Heritage. So I'm thinking both of those terms cover mm-hmm. the Spanish community in whatever country they're from. Yeah. But this is mainly um celebrating being re- uh free from Spain. So oh, this thing that they celebrate this weekend. Yeah, cuz you're thinking Sonny is 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 P- 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 Puerto Rican. Yeah, they ain't got nothing to do with You know, so there Anna is from um Nicaragua. So okay. I don't know historically well, my thing to Spain is, as far as their history. If he is doing songs, um, yeah, to um, praise mm-hmm. um, the other the cartel, other family. he yeah. deserves to be shut down. That's yeah. my opinion. It's unfortunate, but if you sing a song about how much you love the Crips, mm-hmm. I wouldn't blame if and the Bloods you, came and, and shot up. And your why face. would you receive payment to write songs like that and not know, not even think? That that could cause an issue, exactly, with the others that are out there. So he's there. not thinking. Sing about love and girlfriends and 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 and, and guys Sinatra, that you're jealous of. Frank Sinatra was paid by the mafia yeah, family. He was, but he didn't sing about him. I like the mafia family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gabino, I love you so. And the ones that did, yes, they wasn't Frank Sinatra. No, they were singing "I Love You, Gambino" at the Italian restaurant when the guy came in to eat his sausage and his sauce. Because <laughs> we all know, sing "I Love You, Gambino" while I eat my spaghetti. Frank Sinatra was connected. Frank Sinatra was bigger than that, so he couldn't sing. So this dude, Peso, sorry, buddy, I'm sorry. if you got songs Peso out there Puma. of singing about a certain cartel family. <laughs> Your days are over. <laughs> you had a nice run. You was on the MP- MTV VMAs. That's it, buddy. Yeah, and you're done. Were, it's funny because one of the episodes, um, the, you should have sing another, about them like that. Another documentary I was watching um, shows the power that Sinatra did have. Well, he had the mafia behind. Yeah, him. buddy. Even like in the uh, um, in um, Vegas with all the the, the uh, casinos. And they in, in in that in that documentary with Quincy Jones, there's a ring that he gave exactly. him. He does not take that ring off. No, Quincy had Frank Sinatra, and they worked together. He was his music director and stuff. Frank loved um, Quincy Jones. Yeah. He was good. Yeah, and you know, of course back then, you know, the blacks couldn't stay in the hotels and stuff. They had to stay in another hotel way mm-hmm. down the strip, and they had to eat. In the certain part of the restaurant, or not even eat at all. Frank yeah. was like, "Uh, uh-uh. 
I, if you can't have my band come in then we not, and I'm stay not in, in this hotel, I'm not coming. Right. Do you know how quickly they that right. Quincy and all of them in? So, so yeah. he had a lot of pull. But he didn't sing about the family. Yes. About the different families. He sung, you know, <laughs> Chicago, Chicago, you know, New York, New York, New York. He didn't sing about a particular that family. Your family. <laughs> Puts money in my pocket. <laughs> no, the particular mafia family. Ooh, that guy be no, no family. family. I love you so much. <laughs> I'll never, never let you go. <laughs> and you think you're going to go being on at the Taj Mahal or whatever at New York. And the other families Symphony. are like, hey, he's talking about my family. <laughs> we don't like that Sinatra. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> So that's what's going on with these cartel guys. You're not going to get up there and sing about El Charpo right. and then think we're going to let you come fly through our town. And even put a message in Tijuana. I'm not even gangster. Remember this. I'll say this and we'll move on. Okay. Remember I said I'm not about that life. I'm not gangster. Yes. But remember I had a gangster moment? Yeah. We was uh, doing um fundraiser. Uh-huh. And we were selling, I don't remember, cookies or something. What is this? I think we were selling cookies with the club we in. Okay. And the two girls that was with us, you don't remember? No. There was two girls. I'm not going to say their names. If they're watching, they know who they are. Very attractive women. Oh. Nicely shaped. <laughs> right? So me and you sitting there, we're all sitting there selling the trouble finest. No, we were selling CD, something. VH tapes. Something. We were selling CDs. That's okay. Whatever it was, it was we hard were to selling. Sell. It was hard to sell. And I know I'm not ugly, but I'm not Lola Falana. Exactly. All right. <laughs> you know or Beyonce. We know our. All right. Yeah. But they were. They were fine. They were nice looking women. So I said, why don't y'all get up? And go Shapely, out there. Beautiful hourglass. Go out there and bring, I saw these guys Pretty over eyes, here. Long hair. They had the look. Bring these guys over here. They'll buy some tapes for us. And they did. So I was a pimp. She pimped them. I became a pimp. Yes. So then we I laugh told about them, it now. We laugh they, about it. They know. Yeah. But I can see how you could get caught up in the crime family. Yes, you can. So I said, go out there and sell. Get out there. So these guys. She looks. Put, pull your skirt up. Or t- I t- didn't t- say all of that. No, I'm just saying. You no. know, usually. I just looks. said, get out there and get out there look. and sell. So okay. then they're going to come back after we've been selling all day. And well, tell them I did say, take your coat off. Well, tell them out there. T- t- they needed to yeah, see yeah. the shape. Tell them out they tired. I said, tired? You get back. <laughs> you get back out there and you, you sell, sell, Until sell. it's time for us to get out of here. <laughs> Talk about you tired. <laughs> you sound like the, 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 a pimp on the trading, trading space, trading places yeah. with Eddie Murphy. And they was they was jipping the two brothers. Oh, and yeah. They, and he was losing it. They said, "Get out there and get sell, out there, sell, sell, sell." I said, "You get out of here, <laughs> go sell." Then they went back out. They was laughing. And they, so then they was they came back. And then I was like, "All right, we what, can what shut you down got? now." What you got? What you sell? They but sold. I was laughing. They we sold was, some CDs. At the end of the thing, I said, "Now I know how pimps feel." Yeah. You got all of this going on here, this is, this and is, we're sitting up here eating tuna sandwiches. Right? You gotta get out of there. Make my money. And if you're out of there, you better not bring back two dollars. <laughs> you ain't no two dollar woman. <laughs> you need to be bringing me back at least fifty dollars. You have to shake yourself because you caught. You got caught up. The late the girls was even like, "No, Kim, no." <laughs> they was laughing though, but they understood it. I said, "Don't y'all not understand how pimps feel?" Because when they came, when they came back, we kids. You get not. mad. I'm serious. They bought the, the people bought CDs from these ladies, but then they started wearing down. They're this not bringing tired. coming back with a dollar. What is this? <laughs> God, that's funny. If you can't do it, I'll find another one. Get again. another one. Uh, but you, you don't want me to at the time it wasn't the Will Smith back slap but, but we was laughing want, you, and we, she went to raise her hand being funny yeah, I was being and they funny. was laughing like oh, oh, get out of there oh, <laughs> and the guys coming over Brian was laughing we always having fun we was with having fun and I it. said you bought this because they was out there yeah. they was like yeah, yeah they look good I right said now you I said, do we all understand now how pimps feel? Thank you. I, I told I told my sister I did that in, in college. So I, I 
I a girl that's detail. good looking. A girl that was good looking. Yeah, we get over there. Girl, we need a car to go to the store. Yeah, call him over. he like you. Get out and of he here. Would, she, he would, she would call him and he would and, all, and then all, all five, six of us come out with our little bags, shopping bags. That's right. So go ahead. So use it, and yeah. you getting popped if you don't. Because why are you here if you're not going to get out and sell the goods? Thank you. So now I feel like that's how these cartel families feel. Hmm. You're not going to come. You're not going to be singing. About the guy, the, the family right. that we have battle against. Yeah. And then you think you're just going to come up on stage and keep singing. Right. And you got all these people coming to you to listen to you in concert. You no. need to shut that down. You making it seem like they family better than our family. Exactly. Giving praise to them. So I get it. It's all wrong. I don't know what he's going to do because are they going to shut down every concert? They must be. I don't know. I don't know what gonna this guy's going to do. He's going to have to pay some people and he's going to have to take those songs out of his concert. They're going to sing those songs. So, and but then if he takes the songs out the concert, the other cartel family probably going to thread them. Mm -hmm. You're disrespecting, um, the, what's his name? We, El Charpo. We paid you to sing, uh, write our music and sing about us. So he's us. caught between a rock and a hard don't place. Don't get involved with the cartel. Don't get involved. Unless your family is part of that. Stay civilian. Don't become about that life. Thank you. Um, Thank you. let me see. Um, everybody's saying hi. Emerald says, hey, ladies. Um, everybody's saying hi to each other. Emerald says, cartels are just another way of saying crime family. Oh, okay. So it's a crime family. It's okay. a crime family. All right. Speaking Thank you of, for that because I was fig trying to think. So many cartels. This is perfect. Speaking of crime family, how about this segue? Let's go into the uh, the Marilago crime, crime family. family. This is their leader. It's okay that we're covering his face because you know what he looks like. Da -da 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 we'll let Mae do the face show. I'm going to move it. Okay. 